So now we've done that job for Info Dude, and if you ever need advice, just go into one of those phone booths that have just mysteriously appeared all over the island. So now it's back to, well, the usual thing. We're just gonna wander around aimlessly until we find some important stuff. And of course, since we just opened up this bridge up here, it would be the perfect spot to start out. I am going to approach this from the left, because there's a bit less to explore over on this side. It branches out a little more in the other direction, I think. Stop talking about my dad! Alright, your Legos. Your dad is going to be smaller than my dad. Stop talking to me about this! God damn it, people! Alright, fine. Despite the fact that you are all tiny Lego people, all of your fathers are quite larger than mine is. Alright? It's fine. I mean, my dad could do it because he is bigger than most people, especially your dad, but he's not here right now. Uh, okay, it's great, good to know. Oh, hey, that's a fantastic beard. Alright. Yeah, sure. Alright, bye. Okay, Lego Island's got some uh, pretty interesting people, I guess. It was just uh, reading the newspaper, doing the crosswords, even though it didn't look like he had a pencil. So, there's another person withholding a thing I need. Oh, I. Good thing nobody's there. They they didn't notice the fact that I threw a pizza into their door. Um, much as I like pizza, uh, door pizza is kind of gross, and at the very least, it's messed up. Like, a lot. It's just gonna completely ruin the pizza. Well, that was pretty great, alright. Gotta yeah, change that real quick. Hope you prefer having a flower to having trees there. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell ya. Are you into happy happyism? Not particularly, uh, oh, yeah, well, uh, me too, that's how I spend most of my nights, but I wasn't expecting you to say anything useful. Not in this game, no. In this important looking house, there's nobody in it. There is, however, a trading card down there. I will have to figure out how to get over there, because what's life without trading cards? Oh, there's a train right there. Of course, the huge problem is... There are no train stations, so we can't actually board that train, and oh, we got a big open field right there. Alright, that's, uh, extremely useful. Uh, sure? Are you just assuming you're never going to be in a dark place? Because it's not useful for me right now, either. Oh well, whatever, we got a flashlight, that's gonna be important. I mean, in this game, you might be surprised that something is important, you know. You might be expecting us to just pick up an item and then never have a use for it, but no, it has a use. We are going to use it for something, and something fairly soon as well, because otherwise we can't progress to a certain area. Alright, anything important I'm missing between where I went through that shortcut? I mean, the answer is probably no, no matter what. But, you know, I could check. Oh no, Brickster Bot! Ah! Nothing happened. Well done, Pepper. That, that Brickster Bot kind of just, like, rubbed your face. It was very uncomfortable, so... Good thing you just completely and utterly vaporized it with that pizza you threw. Just removed it from reality. You, you slammed a pizza in its face that hard. Pizza has the power to do this, by the way. If you don't like someone, you can just kill them with a pizza. Very, very vicious. Okay, sure, yeah. Apparently Pepper knows that guy personally, and apparently he just moved here. That's uh, some very important information. There'll be a quiz on it later, you'll uh, want to remember that. Let's see, I believe this is a train station. That, of course, is not useful. Oh, hey, what do you have to say? I didn't know you were here before, dude, but sure, yeah, great. Yeah, nothing useful over there. 
apparently a person's not that good either. What do you gotta say? Well, wasn't that just a riveting conversation? Oh, and there's an astronaut here just hanging out. Alright. Um, okay. We got the hospital page, that's important. When we loop back around that way, we'll be able to repair the hospital for that one guy who just got completely un and utterly destroyed by life itself. Oh, hey Brickster, how's it going? I am not trying. No, you evil fiend. I didn't think you were bad before, but don't touch the trading cards, dude. It's just vicious. Okay, and that, that lady is from the Johnny Thunder series. I don't remember her name. Sure. Let, let's pick some apples to slow everything down. Because I've, I've just hit new neighbors and weird guys hanging around at the train station and astronauts and Brickster and sewers going through with flashlights. Let, let's pick apples to do that thing. Apple picking. All right. Okay, so... This minigame makes a little more sense than the other minigame, because there's actually a timer and a score. And we have to avoid picking up the apples with worms in them, the little horribly compressed, pixelated worms, which kind of terrified me when I was a kid, because if you pick up an apple with them in it, they'll kind of just get in your face. I mean, they're not terrifying worms, they kind of just sit there wiggling and smiling at you. I mean, I was terrified of everything when I was a kid, but, uh, th those guys, I don't know why, they just freaked me out for some reason. Just wibbling your face back and forth, staring at you with those cold, dead eyes. I mean, I don't, I still don't know how, because they give thumbs up when they comes out of the apple. Just give you a big ol' thumbs up, no problem, they're having a good day, they hope you have a good day as well, they're wishing you luck, they want the best for you. These worms are not scary, and yet, for some reason, I feared them. But it does waste time, so don't pick them up anyway. I'd also like to know how these apples are just magically appearing in front of us, but... Honestly, that's probably the least pressing question I have overall in this game. Why are there apple cores in this tree? I, that just hit me. Who is putting apple cores in these trees? Somebody is littering really hard, but like specifically, they're putting the remains of an apple back into the tree, and I have no idea what that's supposed to accomplish or why you would even do that unless you're just spiting the apple tree. I, I, I just don't get it. I really don't. Lady friend, the apple woman, or what? Because she's right over there. Alright, well, I guess when we get a fishing rod, we will give him a fish. But we don't have a fishing rod, so we'll just pick up this gigantic key instead. This key is someplace that doesn't even exist at the moment. But when we find it, and it does exist, oh, we're gonna have the key for it. Which, really, we shouldn't have the key. I mean, it's kind of bad. The people who actually own the skate park should have the key. No, squid friend. Yeah, I'll, I will find that six squid. Don't you worry about that. I'll also know you are a fashion disaster. Don't wear those trunks at all. Le leopard print is not good. Stripes are not good. Stuff like that. And the medallion is just cheesy, honestly. So I'm just gonna ignore that guy with a weird fashion sense. I'll also ignore that robot that's not even threatening. I want to call it like a killer robot or something, but it just wanders around doing nothing. Yeah, right. Sand lump sometimes, that's a thing that happens. Oh, it's this conversation again. A lot of people talking about that. I'm not even in your son! God damn it, man. You're just, you're just being pedantic at that point. Oh, a tiny little bit of your elbow is in my face. You're, you're gonna completely ruin my tan, Pepper. Ugh. Anyway, here's your six squid. Aww. Well, 
Well, I'm glad this all worked out fine. Okay, well, I guess we'll just do one of my least favorite mini-games, the Hoop Game. I don't like the Hoop Game. Shut up, Pepper. Alright, so this is really weird. You have to hold the direction depending on what you want to hit. You can hit the fin in the back by holding up. To get the middle, just throw it. To get the one highest up that's not the shark, uh, hold up. And down for the ones that are low. Sometimes these reset, and sometimes it's just finicky. And I think you can hit the crabs as well. I think that's how you reset these poles, but I don't quite know. Honestly, this game is just way too finicky for me. I, I don't care for it. But you do kind of want to reset the pulls, because I think that allows you to get the shark again, and apparently the shark probably gets a fair few points, and I don't know how you're supposed to get a high score on that. I don't know what anything is worth in that minigame, so... Yeah, I, I got no clue how you're actually supposed to do that well, but... I, I did the best I could, so there you go. Right, we're done on the beach for now, until we're able to catch a fish. So continue exploring at this uh, flowers right here, the flowers in this pavilion. You wouldn't want to, like, leave LEGO Island? That's personally what I'd want to do. Got a trading card. What's this a trading card of? Check over here, and uh, another double. Uh, this is just not good. Uh, I need to get myself a game like Cable just so I can trade cards. Because no one around here is going to trade any cards with me, even though I want to. I got doubles of stuff. Maybe those are actually rare, and I just got incredibly lucky. You never know. Uh, I wonder about your beard, dude. Oh, wow, those are some huge glasses. idea. Then again, maybe you don't like comics, you know? Maybe you like them being short, in which case, just read Calvin and Hobbes, and then you're fine. That's life advice in general, just le read Calvin and Hobbes, because it's good. It's a good old comic, I like it. Far Side's also good. Alright, that guy, that guy makes fair points, I'm just gonna leave him forever now. Trust me, I will have one. So, we'll be getting to that fairly soon, actually, because I believe we're just about done exploring the northern end of Lego Island. Unless we missed something over here. We're just about done over here. Unless we have something... I think we did get the radio station page, right? So let's repair this. Hooray! We, we did it. There's a terrible image to show you that you did it. Alright, so not only do we have to repair the radio station, we also have to get those four antennae. I think we've gotten like two or three of those, right? So we'll just have to keep a lookout for the last one or two of those. Guys, still jackhammering down there. Alright, now that we've done the radio station, I guess we should get around to doing the hospital. You know, the slightly less important thing. The radio station that doesn't even work at the moment was the more important and pressing matter. And we fixed the hospital, yay. Did that car just have a little clown nose honky noise? Yep, that's an ambulance, alright. It's an ambulance, it doesn't have an arm. I love Take On Me. He's horribly injured, but uh, yeah, I guess. Gonna be okay. got something important to tell us. This could be a very important uh, bit of lore or a good plot point. Ah! Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, man, that text was terrifying. Oh, jeez. My heart's racing right now. Oh. Whew. Okay, but on the bright side, he has given us a ticket to the ferry that we were looking at a little while ago. 
Oh, the ambulance is just going to leave with him in it, I guess. I mean, I didn't see anybody take him out, so I can only assume the ambulance just let him leave, and now he's probably going to fall out of the ambulance and, like, off a cliff, and basically at this point I'm just referencing a Simpsons joke, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep on going from here, so we could go to the ferry, but first, old man with glasses, or at the moment he lacks glasses, but now he doesn't lack glasses, and now we have the Orchard House page. I don't know why, but yeah, now he's just gonna say generic stuff. So yeah, we, we just give him in his glasses, and without a word, he just hands us this page to the Orchid. Orchard. Orchard. Not Orchid. But anyway, a weird clown noise, car, why, why do you exist? Okay, whatever. But anyway, now, uh, really, Infomaniac? Yeah, I do. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, it's it's great fun. That, that That's fantastic. Please. I'm not doing that at the moment. I've got other things to do, like I gotta repair this orchard. Or orchard. I'm gonna have to pronounce that, but whatever. Weeds. Pulling them up. Oh, another one just appeared out of nowhere. That's great. Okay. Give me a trading card. What do I get? There we go. It's just not immediately after it. Gotta wait a single moment. <sighs> so there are like 40 cards in the game, right? I hardly have any, and yet it's given me a triple. I have three of that one card. Any other cards? That aren't one I already have. Oh, just built itself up out of nowhere. And now he's gone forever. Can't open his door. He won't answer it. Oh, but we can't go on the beach, and you know what that means? Yep, we get to access this spot where there's a trading card. And thank goodness for that. Alright, let's have a look at this here trading card. What's it got? Well, this day sucks. Let me just grab whatever is in here, and then I'll just take it and go. <sighs> I can't believe it. I could have so many trading cards right now, but it just keeps giving me ones I already have. I have four of one, and now we have buildings page. Hooray, good for us. You know, I need to go to that, what was it called, Castle Island? Yeah, I, I need a trip there. After being disappointed by these horrible, horrible trading cards, of which I already have so many, I just, I need a good spot in my life. Uh, I want to look at the map because I forget where Building's house is. Uh, it's not in the north, so... Yeah, it should go over here. Uh, you can press L and R to change, or L and R or up and down, I forget, but... Either way, though, you can change which section of the island you're looking at. And he is in the corner of the middle section of Lego Island. Hooray, it's fixed! And now the guy who's actually doing all the work has a place to stay. Before this, he was just hanging around doing nothing. Sleeping in the trees, which I then turned into flowers and thus made him homeless. And that hard hat actually allows us to go to the southern portion of Lego Island. We won't be doing that just yet, and there's actually two routes to do that, but we really should be getting around to going to the ferry area right now. So I can go off to Castle Island, that's going to be an important thing for us to do, so we're going to go and do it. You can't stop me. Look at me go. You stopping me right now? You're not. It does not... Brickster, where'd you even come from? Did you just emerge from the sea? That's probably the first good point you've ever made, Brickster. Oh, you, you have a speedboat. All right. All right, oh, go Lego backwards, and is also the name of the villain from that uh, one, like, Lego Agents or whatever it was. I actually forget what that was called, but we don't have to worry about that, because we're going to Castle Island next time on Lego Island 2. I have my ticket. What kind of pleb do you think I am? Oh, let's just ride through them. No problem. 